Hi everyone, John here. Welcome back to Topo Talk number 26. Got a nice example here from the 3D modeling Discord. There's a hairdryer. And the question was if you can see this big red circle was specifically about how to approach this section here. And I had a good think about it. Tried a couple of different things. And I think I've got a good solution for this. Obviously, if you have a better solution, share it with everyone. But uh, let's go ahead with mine. So I've got a file here with a couple of cylinders. You can download this file as a starting point if you want to follow along. And I've already set this up. So I've got a vertical one, 16 loops and 16. And I've just got it intersecting on the inside here. I'm just going to turn this one off for a sec. My first thought about how to approach this was to you know, add a loop in like that, bevel it, something like that, and then let's just hide everything else. And then, you know, select a bunch of these and with my fingers crossed, let me just grab that to, you know, inset and then try and use circle. <laughs> I got some, you know, really bad results from that. Um, I tried all the different settings and it just was terrible. So I gave up on that. I'm going to undo. And get rid of that one. Bring this one back. Like that. And let's have a look at how I did approach this. So first of all, what I want to do is I want to have, you know, this cylinder here cut and follow the um, shape of this cylinder. So the best way to do that is to use a Boolean. So what I'll do is I'll select that one, add a modifier, Boolean, and I'll just select that one as the object. Now it's in difference mode. You can see that's cut that out. So if I just apply that now and come in and clean it up, I might just hide my grid here. I'll hide my floor, tab, I want to be in face mode, I just want to clean these up, get rid of those, oops, got rid of everything there, don't want to get rid of everything, just get rid of that, okay, delete faces, and we've probably got a few extra verts there, let's go into vert mode, you can see them there. Probably a quick way to get rid of this just to go into a side mode. Go into X ray and then just drag my keys just to select that with the shift key held down. And that should select all the bad ones. And then just dissolve vertices like that. That looks pretty clean. Okay. And there we are. All right. So now I'm just going to do a quick save. I'm going to save this as just number two so I don't mess up the one for you. There we go. Save as. All right. So now I just want to work in mirror mode because I've got um, uh, a way to save a lot of time using mirror here. So what I'll do is once again just isolate that, come to the top. And we'll get rid of all of that and all of that. Delete vertices. Yep, that's what we want. And add modifier mirror. And we want it in the X and the Y. There we go. Now we're only working with one. Okay, just a quick save. Make sure Blender doesn't crash on me. Okay, selecting that one now. I could bring back the rest of it. And we can see that there now, the little section that we're trying to create. So I'll press E for extrude right mouse button and then I just drag that out like that. And let's scale on the X. So S X zero like that. Just pull that out. And what I'll also do is just drag these back just in line with that. And we need one more, so let's see. Quick way to do this. Probably the easiest way is just to go to this view, E, and then just sort of drag it out. I could snap it to that, but I, I'll just eyeball it. 
drag it up like that. Okay, and looking at that again, it's a little big, that's fine. But what I'm going to do is get rid of this one. Just dissolve that one. I'm just going to GG just to slide that one down like that. Make sure that this one's even. Something like that, okay? All right. All right, so next, save, select this one, control B to bevel. You can see, I just drag that out to try and match. I can probably do three, you could do four. Maybe three is probably enough. Even two may be enough. I'll, I'll try with three, like that. And let's have a look at this in a sub-D surface. Get rid of that, we don't need that anymore. Uh, add modifier, sub-D surface, and we'll just shade smooth. You can see it's pretty much there now. It's hugging that quite nicely. We probably, what we could probably do is take that one, drag it down, slide it down. Take that one, slide it down, and this one. Slide that down like that. Might just, let's see, have a look at it like that. Now, I'll just turn these off for a sec. It looks a bit weird when it's not under subdivision. It looks like it's overlapping. Could grab this vert here, slide that down a bit. Like that. And just isolate that. So we've got one, two, three, four. That's actually an end gone there. So what we could do is just grab the knife tool and just you know, stick a cut in there. Like that. It does leave you with a pole there, but I think that's okay. I'll probably just take these and just even them out. Like that. Bring that down like that. If I had more loops in here, I could, you know, I could probably control that pole a little better. Um, could do this as well. We are talking topology, aren't we? In Topo Talk, why don't we do that? And dissolve that. Okay, so now we've got quads. That's not bad. Okay, so bring everything else back. That's sitting pretty well. I'll just save that. And what I'll just do for now is just apply the mirror like that and just do the solidify for everything. So let's go. Um, probably needed to probably just round this out a little bit more. I should have slid a few of those, but this is enough, I think. So we'll go add modifier. Add modifier, solidify. Now we'll bring that up above the sub D. And I'm just going to hold down the shift key because I don't want it to be too thick. Like that. Okay, and just turn these guys back on. And you get the idea, right? Then it hugs that quite nicely. What we probably want to do is give, make that a little thicker. That. Uh, we've got even thickness. And. I want to bevel those edges. I could use a bevel modifier. I'm just going to do this the, um, my regular way. And I'm just going to apply that now. And just going to turn that off. And just do a couple of loops here. So loop in there and a loop in there. How does that look? Let me just turn that back on. There we go. Probably want to shade auto smooth like that. And it's got a default of 30. I actually like to be 90. That. 
There we go. That's looking pretty good, pretty clean. So I think that's probably a pretty good way to approach that. Let's go up to, let's just close that up. And use a matte cap. Looks pretty good. So tell me what you think. If you think you've got a faster way, I'm definitely all ears, but I think that's a fairly nice way to do that. All right, have a go, see how you go. For now, this is John, I'll see you in the next tip.